Now that you know how to navigate the Google Home Hub, let me show you all the settings that you can adjust to change and personalize the Google Home Hub for you. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So today we're gonna to jump in and check out all the settings, how to adjust them, what they do for your Google Home Hub. So we're gonna head into the Google Home app to go into all the settings. Now you can see that this Google Home app mirrors what we saw on the Home View controls on the Home Hub. So whatever you adjust over here will change over there. So we're gonna go down here and go into the office. And then here we now have the office display. So if I wanted to play music right here, all I would need to do is select play music and it would begin playing music on this device. So there I can pause it right here and play it. And then over here I have the controls to pause, play, and go to the next song as well. And then I can close it just by swiping like that. So let's go into the office display. So here we have the control settings so I can quickly control this at any time. So I don't even need to activate the home hub or come over to the home hub. I can change the volume at any time as long as I'm connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So down here I have the option to stop casting or I could open play music um, just like we just did by selecting the play button. Okay, so next in the office display, we do have music control. So here if I play some music, I can quickly turn up and down the volume right from in here. And then up here we do have the equalizer setting. So if I wanna increase the bass, I can do that. I can also lower it. And then we also have the treble settings right here. And then again on the home hub, I can tap and if I'm listening to a playlist, I can then just tap next and it will go to that music. Now you can also use this to cast. So right now I'm actually casting from my phone to the Google Home Hub so you can cast music as well as different videos. So next, if you want to go into the full settings of the Google Home Hub, just click the settings up here in the top and that will take us right into the full settings. So here you can see which accounts have been linked to the Home Hub. And then here we can see all of our timers. So if I say, hey Google, Set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. Starting now. So now that we have our timer over there, that's going to display on the screen. And then over here, I can actually go into alarms and timers, and I can see that it has the timer right there. Hey, Google. Set an alarm for 10 a.m. Done. Your alarm set for tomorrow at 10 a.m. So then if we refresh and go back into that setting, here we can see that our alarm is right there. And if I wanna dismiss that alarm or turn it off, I can delete it right there. And then if I wanna delete this timer, I can do it as well. As of right now, you can only change the alarm volume and not the tone. And then down here, we can change the name of it. We can change your address. And then here we can choose what home it is included in. So you can create multiple homes. We're just going to keep it in my main home. Here we could choose what room it's in. So right now it's set up in the office. Here, if we want to add it to a group, so this now supports audio groups. So I could add it into my office group. And now when I select save and I wanna play music on the office group, I am able to do that. So let's go back to my app where I'm casting. I'm going to cast to the office group. And then it's gonna play out of all the speakers that I have turned on in the office. So that's great because it can play out of your Google Home Hub, your Google Home Mini, or Google Home Max, or regular Google Home. Then here we have the ambient mode. So if you want to adjust what is showing up, here it's showing the full clock. And then if I wanted to have it show the pictures instead, we can do that. So as soon as I select the pictures there, you can see it has adjusted the clock already. Here you have a few options where you can choose Flickr or Facebook. So if I wanna change the settings to go to my Google Photo settings, I can come in here, I can choose the album I want. So then once I go back, it will automatically start playing over there. You have a few more options here where I could hide the weather on the home screen. So I like to show the weather. You can hide the time or show the time. You can have personal data. So over here, it's gonna show the album. And then here you can choose how long it takes to change the picture. So I could change it to 30 seconds and then it will adjust um, there. So now if I go back, you can see it's automatically changed the pictures over there 
to be displaying my photo album that I just selected. And now in a new update, it will show two portrait photos at once right on the screen. So next we have digital well-being. So this allows you to lock your Google Home Hub out so people can't respond or use the display at certain times. So it'll make sure it filters different content for your kids. One cool feature I really like is you can say at 8 p.m., turn off until six in the morning. And you can do that from um, Sunday night to Thursday or during the weekdays or weekends. So I'll go into that in another video. Guest mode allows you to have others send media like their music to the Google Home Hub. Here you have some accessibility settings, which I think is really neat for the Google Home Hub. So at the start of a request, you can have it play a sound and at the end of the request. So if I say, hey Google, what's the weather like tomorrow? In Linden tomorrow, it'll be sunny with a high of 62 and a low of 43. So there you heard both of those requests when I turned it on and turned it off. So here you have screen reader where it could actually read what's on the screen. Hey Google. Box. Go home. Fry sunny 62 degrees, 43 degrees. Two clear 57 degrees, 38 degrees. Clear with periodic clouds. So that's very similar to the talkback feature that you would see on your phone. Here you do have an option to do color inversion. And then here you could magnify the screen. So it says triple tap to magnify. So there it magnified. I can use two fingers to move it around. And then you do have an option to have it show closed captioning. So now we do have an option to change and adjust the display. So here we can choose to have a dim display or a dark display in low light. Here we can have it show a clock or just turn off the screen. Here we can have it turn off the screen if you have not used it for five minutes. And then here we can choose to change the ambient effect. So we can have it do dimmer, we can do no adjustment, or we can have it be brighter depending on what we like. And then down here we can do color matching. So right now it's automatically going to adjust depending on the room. Here we can have it always color match or do it never. So those are a few specific features to the Home Hub. Now the rest of the features are pretty similar to what we've seen before on the Google Home Hub. Here we do have a night mode. So when I enable night mode, that's just going to reduce the notifications that you have on the Google Home as well as the different sounds. So it's gonna turn down the volume. So the well-being is more about not using the device. This is about turning it down so it's not gonna start music really loud at a certain time of night. So in the Bluetooth settings, you can pair this so that you could play your phone's music through this via Bluetooth. Or if you go into set the default music speaker, you can actually pair this to play its audio or music out of another speaker. So if you have a better Bluetooth speaker close by, you can pair that right here. You can also set a default. So if you have another Google Home Max or something, it could automatically play out of the Google Home Max. And then here you can set a default TV. So right now, whenever I ask it to play a YouTube video, I want it to play on this device. But if you want it to play on a Chromecast device, you could do that as well by choosing one of those. And then a few more settings unique to having a smart display or a home hub device. Here you have YouTube settings. So I can turn on YouTube restricted mode. You can turn on YouTube content filtering and then you can also disable YouTube for guests. So that means anybody that it doesn't recognize with voice match, it will not play YouTube videos at all. So I usually like to turn on restricted mode. So if my kids are watching something, then it won't play something maybe they would not want to see. And those are pretty much all the main settings you would want to adjust for the Google Home Hub. So now let me show you a few other things like playing YouTube. Play tech with Brett from YouTube. Playing tech with Brett on YouTube. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the new live albums feature in the Google Photos application so that you can automatically have new photos show up on your Chromecast. Smart display. Now during a video, I can just tap on a screen. I can pause it, turn on closed captioning. I can swipe up and it's gonna show me more videos based on that channel. So up here on the top, it's still playing the little video. And then I can scroll through and find a different video that I wanna watch. And then it would play that as well. So there's no YouTube app or anything. We can just go in here, tap on YouTube. It will take me back to where I was watching. And then I can browse through like this. Mainly you're going to be using the search feature by voice to find different content to watch. Now, if you wanna watch certain news articles or things from CNN, there are certain services that are supported that you could use as well on here. 
Um, I can also use like my phone to cast things from Plex or Hulu or certain applications. Hey Google, play The Office from Netflix. Sorry, Netflix can't be played on smart displays. So let's check out how it sounds. Now listening to it, it sounds a little bit between the Google Home Mini and the regular Google Home. So not quite as much bass as from the original Google Home. Right here in the front is where it's firing out the audio. Um, it sounds like there's a little bit of bass coming from the back um, of the device right there. So that's pretty much all the things you need to know about the Google Home Hub and kind of how it works and all the new settings that are available. If you would like to know more about smart displays, make sure you select the playlist over there on the side. And if you have any further questions, let me know in the comments below. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.